Hey guys, it's Backpack Jack. I'm here at the office today because it's freezing cold outside. It's minus 33 degrees C right now. So I'm just repacking my gear and I thought I'd give you a quick look at what I've got in here for my winter setup and my day hike kit. This bag is also my get home bag that comes with me to work every day in case I get stuck somewhere during my transit. I've got a really simple 35 liter outbound backpack. It's just got one main part in it. It's got a water bladder sleeve inside. And it's got one little pocket on the outside and then a couple mush pockets on the sides. Nothing fancy. Pretty cheap, but it works. I usually keep in here a baseball hat. In the summer, I wear it all the time, but in the winter, it also comes in handy on those sunny, snowy days when the glare gets pretty bad. I also keep my ice cleats attached to my pack. These are just my simple ones for flatland, the flatland around my office. I don't have to worry too much about inclines. These do not have spikes in the heels and you will go ass over tea kettle trying to get down a hill on them. But a flatland, pretty good. So that's what I've got today. I've also got my trekking pole outside in the Jeep. And the next thing I stuff in the side pockets here is just an assortment of garbage bags. I've got some big black garbage bags and a couple little shopping bags. Use them for all sorts of things, not the least of which is to pick up other people's garbage and to truck out my own garbage when I'm out there. Next key component in my pack is my shelter setup, especially when it's cold and wet outside. And what I've got for shelter in here is I've got a Thermarest Z seat, which is not as big as a uh, sleeping pad. It's great just for your butt, but it works great for those of us that have arthritis in our hips, especially if we're sitting or lying down for any amount of time. I've got two ponchos in here to make a shelter with, my plain green one and then my camel one, assortment of paracord as well to string that up. In the winter I threw in my SOL emergency bivy, which is basically just a big mylar garbage bag, silver on one side, orange on the other. It works for signaling, it works for a little bit of extra warmth, you can use it for a fire deflector, all sorts of things. So I find it tremendously useful, so I keep it with me. In the winter, spring and fall. I also carry an assortment of chemical warmers. I've got some hand warmers and some body warmers in there for just in case. I don't generally use them on a regular day, but if I get stuck out unexpectedly, those are going to come in handy. I've also got some clothing in here. I've got this guy here, which is a wool poncho. Basically, it's a woman's fashion wrap, but it's the exact same size and shape as my GI ponchos. Works great as a liner and great as a blanket. I've got a polar fleece vest in there. That'll give me a little extra layer of warmth on my core and combined up with that, which I can tuck underneath the vest to give an extra layer, it gives me a lot of added warmth. This Ziploc bag here is just some basics. I've got some leather work gloves in there. There's a lot of scrub and brush around here right now and uh, you can very easily hurt your hands. And my winter gloves, although they are warm and dry, they don't necessarily stand up to the rigor, so I've got a pair of work gloves in there. I've got an orange fluorescent orange tinselette hat in there. Keep my head warm as an extra layer. It's also good for signaling. I've got a pair of merino wool socks in here hiking. They're fairly thick. They're super warm. Keeping warm and dry is key. I've got a pair of silk liner gloves in there for hunters I can wear under my big winter mittens. And I've also got a polar line fleece buff to go. I can use it for a head a hat, a scarf, a neck warmer, a face mask. Um, I could stretch it probably big enough to wear it as a shirt even. <laughs> I generally keep it above my shoulders. So that's it for clothing. They're a nice dry Ziploc bag. Got a couple bandanas here. Thousand and one uses. So I always keep a couple of them around. On my body, I usually have this little lanyard. I've got a little photon light, a whistle for emergencies, a little mini Bic for backup fire and a teeny tiny little folding knife here. And then that's strung up on a lanyard made of jute twine, which is also good for cordage and fire starter. Speaking of fires, I've got a more robust fire kit in this kit that I normally carry. I've got a package here of hexacubes. I think those are the Coleman brand or Coglins, one of the two of them, pretty simple anyways. Just light them in, uh, you've got a fire. And here, my match case, I've got some striker and wear matches, a striker and some cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. I've got my extra Bic lighter, a tea light candle, which is great for getting your fire started, particularly if things are wet or it's windy. I keep all that inside of one of these little 
packages here it had dried fruit in it, but it's resealable. It's a little bit thicker than freezer bags and Ziploc bags, so I just tuck that all in there. My Altoids tin here, it's got some basically some natural tinders in there. There's some char cloth, there's some char punk wood, um, there's some birch bark in there, cedar bark, I can't remember what else, but lots of stuff. It's wrapped in Gorilla Tape and Rager Band in there, so give me a little a few extra resources, but basically just keep it closed. I've got my headlamp here. I've got the E Plus light, which is really small. It's got a bunch of different settings. Got red light, flasher, um, LEDs. Great little light, super light and small. A couple extra batteries for that. I'm gonna keep my first aid kit in there. It's basically an Amer AMK first aid kit that I've taken out of its fancy bag and just tucked inside of there with some extra stuff. It's got a Mylar blanket in there, for instance. It's got a triangular bandage in there. It's got a maxi pad in there. It's just a little more robust kit than I would normally carry. And I've got my tools over here. My Gerber suspension multi-tool. Don't often keep a multi-tool in my kit if I feel I need one. I put it on my belt, but in the winter time I find moving pots on and off the stove a little bit easier with multi-tool, so I keep that in there. My main hiking knife is my more light, my fire fire knife. It's got a ferro rod built into the handle. Love this knife. Use it all the time. Carry it with me always. Ditto my Baco Laplander saw. It is great folding lightweight saw. It's perfect for processing firewood. In the winter I usually upgrade to a an axe. Right now I've just got my Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife, which I basically only use to just pound the snot out of to baton wood. I'm probably going to upgrade it again, move this out and move my hatchet in, but for now, that's what I've got in there for my chopper. One more piece of hygiene, I've got a feminine hygiene kit in there, it's got pads and tampons and wipes and a little bit of Tylenol and uh, some toilet paper and Purell. Basically it's a bag of girly stuff that I take with me for obvious reasons. And then for food and water, I've got my canteen kit, which I love. I've got a canteen cup, canteen stove, canteen. Santa brought me a new lid for that for Christmas. And then I've got my homemade aluminum foil windscreen that I take as well. I also bring my old thermos cup. I can have a cup of coffee in one thing, cup of noodles in another, or whatever it would be. Anyways, an extra container never hurts uh, in that package. In the carrying case there, I've got a wet fire cube and um, some extra aluminum foil, which is an old habit before I had this. I just used aluminum foil to put over the canteen cup when I was boiling water. In addition to that water bottle, I also, in the wintertime, carry something that's insulated. This is a Bubba insulated water bottle, basically. It'll keep your hot stuff hot for a good eight hours. It says it doesn't sweat, and in my experience it's true, but I do put it in an extra little sock just to give it some personality but also keep it a little extra warm maybe make it last a bit longer and then finally I have my bag of chow in this case I've got some oatmeal, some noodles, some powdered potatoes uh, tuna and then a bunch of cliff bars and dried fruit and stuff I can eat right away as well as hot and cold drinks and it warm yourself up from the inside having some food and stuff is a good way to do that and if you can't have a fire you want to have ready to eat stuff much like eating warm food on cold days, but sometimes the best you can do is just get some food into you right away. So I've got dried fruit, cliff bars, tuna, a bunch of ready to eat jerky stuff, and, and then also some stuff that I can heat up and make hot. Which leads me to the last item in here. In the winter, I do keep a mountain house meal in here. It's freeze dried, you just have to add water and let it rehydrate it. In this case, it's beef stroganoff and noodles which I really like. It gives me an extra meal if I somehow, for some reason, got stuck outside for longer than I'm expecting. If it's an overnight, maybe there's an injury, maybe there's a, an emergency of some sort, who knows. I want to be able to have a good meal to keep me warm from the inside out. I think it's particularly important in the cold weather. You, you can make do, you can go three weeks without food, but in this weather, warm food goes a long way to keep you alive and happy. And that is my winter setup. Generally stays the same in the spring and the fall and then I revert back to my other setup in the summer which has less warmth, a little bit less food. And I also have more water in the summer that I carry ready with me because although I 
do use boiling to get my water potable. I don't want to wait in the summer for it to cool down. So I carry more co cold water with me. In the winter time right now I can melt snow and ice in there and have warm drinking water in no time. Around here somewhere is also a little kit that's got I've got some paracord bracelet on here, but I've also got a little kit in here somewhere. It seems to have been misplaced. Anyways, it's got a filter straw and some tablets as well. I'll have to locate that but just to give me a little bit of extra drinking water. So, maybe a little bit of overkill for a regular couple hour day hike. But with injuries, unexpected weather, you can get caught outside unexpectedly and want to stay warm and dry, particularly when I'm hiking with my kids or my scouts. So this is my setup. As I said, it goes with me every day to work and it is my emergency get home bag if I get stuck perhaps in a snowbank on the way home or if I end up at a friend's house and we lose power I've got the ability to keep myself warm and dry and happy. And that is the end of my long-winded ramble. It's still freezing cold outside so I'm not going hiking today so this is gonna have to make do. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.